Almost 20 years of the worst landfill that I have ever seen in my life, and the biggest one in Latin America. As we knew that Gramash would be closed, it was inevitable. We, at that time, after Kyoto Protocol, we want to take the benefits of the gas. They found a fantastic way to, to make money from this landfill. They make a deal with Petrobras, which is a state oil company, the biggest in Brazil. And they have a refinery about five kilometers away from the landfill and they negotiate to send gas to the refinery to be used as a processed gas, but purified gas. They have to purify it to the standards of Petrobras, and the standards of Petrobras are very, very tough. So they are getting gas from the wells in the landfill. They are purifying this very sophisticated unit, which is the biggest in the world for 20,000 cubic meters per hour capacity. They are purifying, they are taking the CO2, they are taking the volatile organic compounds, everything, and they are delivering to Petrobras a very, very pure gas, a very good price. And now the landfills totally cover, uh, the leachate is being treated, the gas is being recovered, purified, and everything is in peace now. Gramash was a, a, such a fantastic uh, lesson to us. The environmental legacy is that we had a horrible open dam and we turned it to a, a source of energy and a source of money. We have now one of the more sophisticated and the biggest in the world uh, plant for biogas purification. So I wouldn't say that this could be applied everywhere, of course not. Each city has its own problems, its own circumstances, and we'll study which one is better. But Gramash, for our city, was a tremendous and fantastic solution. Mm -hmm.